Hello everybody out here in the Music Valley community. This is Mike Kometch of Soldier 777. And I figure I'll show you a video. This is going to be a mix of a, um, a treasured items uh, collection, a sort of watch spinning uh, collection or a video, and a comparison of the originals and remasters of a couple of albums. So this is going to be a mixed bag of different uh, ideas or themes. So first of all, when I showed you a video, um, the one a couple of videos ago, I showed you all my Petra collection of my all my albums. I forgot to show this one important piece, uh, these couple important pieces of my Petra collection. What you have here is the War and Remembrance, 15 years of rock uh, for Petra. So basis from 1972 to 1988, a 15 year period or 15 or 16 year period. And this is a cassette. This basically has two cassettes uh, featuring all their albums from her first album, uh, Petra, to um, the album they had in 1988 called um, uh, On Fire. There you have it. And I have the cassette version. I've never ever seen the uh, CD version, but I bought, bought this back when I had, uh, I never had C CDs on, I had cassettes. So here's a cassette version of it there. And uh, the neat thing with this. Uh, is that it comes with a booklet. This is probably why we want to keep this of of different write ups and photo photos uh, of Petra for that time period. Like for example, it shows the first album, nineteen seventy four Petra, and it shows like uh, basically um, um, basically from the different people involved with the uh, band, such as their manager. Uh, the present of the record company they're at at the time, and different things like that. And it comes also it comes a little right up of what was said in, in going around the world that they are current current events, in the album and how it what was what uh, thoughts they had about the album and the band back in the day from different people. Here we have come and join us. I, just, I thought this was really neat. And here we have, for example, wash the water. Then there you have it. And here we have. Um, Never Say Die, and of course we have More Power To You, and so on and so forth. So it's a real neat, neat uh, collection of photographs and uh, write-ups. Uh, here's now the swirl of the band. So this is a kind of a keepsake I have of the band there. Kind of cool to have. And what we have here, I bought the, the back in 97, I bought this for 19 bucks Canadian. Here's a more power to you, Petra devotional, and it's also out of print. You can't find this, this around these days. I mean, thinking this is out of print these days, so it's probably pretty rare. Rare, but here's a Petra devotional, uh, which came out in 1987, and it shows all of their albums, and here they highlight certain songs um, of the band. Like here's the first three albums, Petra. Uh, um, Come and join us and never say die. And um, different highlights or songs. And they have to apply a devotional to each song. Um, so, for example, um, yeah, Walking in the Light from the first album. And it's got the uh, scripture reference, uh, 1 John 1, verse 17. There you have it, a little right up there. Kind of cool to have. I read, I read through the entire book three years ago. And I guess it got a little bit of water damage done to it, only about it. Uh, but other than that, it's in good shape. And um, here's the year, um, late 80s period. Uh, here we have Back to Street, This Means War and On Fire. There you have it. Kind of cool keepsake. Um, this is kind of a collector's item. Here's a back of the hair and a the front there. What I like about this one is it got like little pictures on the side there that represent the, of the album. Like here's the Unseen Power Windmills. Kind of cool. There you have it. More power to your Petra devotional and uh, by Bob Hartman. So therefore it's called Biblical Insights from from Two Decades of Musical Ministry. So basically features all their albums from their first album, uh, More Power to You. Uh, sorry, uh, their first album, Petra, up to, uh, I believe, We Need Jesus. Uh, the Petra Praise to We Need Jesus came in 1997. So basically it shows a 25-year retrospect of Petra songs and devotionals. So kind of cool having collection. 
Okay, with that part over, so I forgot to show that in my last uh, video, uh, there were a couple of videos ago and show Otaku Petra. I forgot to show those part of my keepsake collection. Okay, so, I'm going to show a, um, so I had an opportunity of listening to a couple albums a while back there. And I showed these in a video, but I never had uh, compared them to the remaster to the original. That's what I'm going to do right now. So, what we have here is Macedon. We have It's a Jungle out there. Now, I had the Frontiers version of this album. And when I put uh, listen to my computer compared to Frontiers version, this remaster is better. Uh, to me, the Frontiers version is a bit more flatter. This shows more of a dynamic range um, uh, to the instrumentation and the vocals. So it's a much better uh, production on this one compared to Frontiers Records. I sold the Frontiers Records to someone, someone else in Canada. I'm in Newfoundland, sold to someone in Winnipeg. So uh, he he wanted to have the sea, so I sold it. So there you have it. But like I said, this remaster is much better than the um, than the Frontiers version. What we have here is the Lufcadio versions. It's real original Pachyderm Records version, and this is the um, uh, remaster from Gurder Music. Is it Gurder Music? Yeah, Gurder Music. And the other one was too. And now, this whichever one is better is a matter matter of opinion. Um, this one here is more bassier. Uh, it's got that bassier production. This one is more crisper and clearer. And, uh, you know, you can tell uh, for the instrumentation and the vocals. So, whichever one is better, more of a matter of opinion. I have both. I um, got this and put on my in on my cell phone on my for, for this in my car. But like I said, I kept both versions because for A, this has got the a different artwork. And B, uh, the the version you prefer it depends on your own preference for your ears i like either version both are sound good to me like i said as you may know remasters are louder more clear more crisper but if you like the more um uh slightly more bassier feel to it or more of a lower end this has a little more of a lower end and what i'm going to do for these three records uh two records uh, albums i'm going to be ordering a vinyl as well and uh, probably do uh, do a commentary on those as well there you have it also um, I listened. I, I listened to this one as well, uh, the Guardian, and compared to the original, and I sold the original version. This to someone else as well. Um, this one here sounds more clear, more crisper than the original one on Peckham Records. So the sounds more clear um, as well. So if you want something compared to, like I said, like I said, if you um, if you don't have the original, pick this up. Uh, if you do have the original, like I said, if you like that more clear, crisper sound, pick this one up as well. It's on a gold disc, has the two masks on it as well, so there you have it. But like I said, I mean, great album. Uh, this is probably one of Guardian's better albums. Um, kind of like this one, uh, kind of divide between this one and Fire and Love. Um, I do like First Watch too. Uh, the later albums, depends on, depends on, my, on the mood and uh, if I like them. I do like Buzz. That is also got some great tunes, even though it's more, um, not less metal, more rock, uh, more alternative in some spots. Uh, still got the basic Guardian, you know, uh, guitar shredding of Tony Palacios, or not so much guitar shredding, but guitar leads and harmonization. Not as much shredding, but this, as compared to this one, but like I said, anyway, I'm not, talk, not here to talk about Buzz, this is the one I want to talk about, so like I said, this sounds more clear, more crisper than the original Pac-Man Records. So it depends on your preference uh, for sound quality. So there you have it. Okay, folks, that's it for now. I figure I'll show you a video of these uh, few ideas in my mind. So um, all the best. Have a great day. Bye now. Oh, I forgot to mention uh, as well. Uh, I ordered the new Striper album, Even the Devil Believes, on red vinyl. And... Um, and CD, which is due September 4th. It's called, um, uh, the, the, name, the company's name is called Bandware, I think it's called. Yeah, Bandware. And um, anyway, and they had them on yellow, purple, and red. And I know I couldn't get the yellow because it ran out. And I was lucky enough to get the, get the red. So I'm totally stoked about that. So I got that coming to me uh, after ship uh, release day, September 4th. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. 
and also uh, so I'm pretty excited about it. And um, on the Petra side of things, uh, Petra has a uh, or classic Petra or, or classic Petra revive revival has a meeting every Sunday night in which they talk to the fans. And I'm um, pleased to hear that the Greg Volts, uh, John Lowry, Louis Weaver, um, uh, Bill Bailey, I think his name is, the bass player's name now, and Kirk Henderson are going to be getting together and recording another or a third installment to the classic Petra uh, part, uh, version of Petra. So I'm very excited about that. Petra being one of my favorite bands. Um, I've, I'm pretty stoked about that. I'm looking forward to it. Also, I'm going to be placing a big order from a from another um, another um, uh, from a vendor. Uh, I'd like to add that I had some CDs posted for sale on Facebook, uh, and I, I had around 27 CDs posted. Not the same time, but at different times. And I sold them all. I'm very pleased to hear that. So I managed to raise some money. So I'm going to be putting the money towards a, a large music purchase. And I'm going to be, uh, where I'm currently doing some renovations on my apartment in my house. I'm putting some of that money towards those renovations. Or I'll keep my house. So um, probably put around four or $500 towards music. And a couple of hundred dollars or, or almost a couple hundred dollars towards renovations as well. So so I managed to sell all, all my music. I managed to raise around um, almost just shy, a couple of dollars shy of $700 in Canadian in my, in my PayPal account. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty pleased about that. So, yeah. So, I'm going to place a big order uh, upcoming pretty soon, next few days or so, whatever. So, yeah. Pretty excited about that. Anyway, it's my little update right now. And, um, like I said, I'm pretty stoked about the new Striper album coming out. And I'm pretty stoked about the new Petra to get back together to uh, come up with new, some new material. And uh, I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, uh, let me know your thoughts, guys, on, the, on these um, videos. And, um, and also, I can't seem to quite crack... 50 subscribers. I'm at 48. I've had subscribers who have um, le left me for some reason. Uh, if I still had those people, I wouldn't over 50 by now. It's not the numbers. I know that. Uh, it's more of a quality. A quality. Uh, but like I said, if you want to spread the word around, uh, you know, for me to get more subscribers, that's up to you. Um, I'm happy where I'm at right now. I'm glad people are commenting or liking my videos. And um, like I said, I plan to do more in the future. Uh, some things I wouldn't mind doing is probably uh, continuing off with my collection video going through the alphabet. Uh, probably doing a couple more uh, year reviews or take a certain year and type of album release in that year and what they are, what impact they made on me and the music and, and the music industry in general. Um, and things like that. So that's my plan uh, going forward with my, with my channel. Um, I'm trying to think of some other ideas I may have. I may have uh, be able to think of some other ideas. Uh, so once I go, through, and also, of course, to do a traditional, um, you know, uh, what came in the mail and what spinning videos too as well. Uh, that guardian sort of, guard, that guardian one's probably sort of a what spinning as well because I recently spun this video, uh, spun the CD, but I haven't mentioned it in the video. So yeah, you can, you can tie in the what spinning into this uh, video I just made. There you have it. Anyway, folks, um, that's all I have right now, and um, all the best, and uh, stay safe, and I'll, and uh, hang in there, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing videos from, from the other folks I subscribe to, like uh, Scott Waters and um, um, well, other, other ones, um, uh, Mega Jeff McCormick, um, and uh, Ron Haggerty. I've been falling behind, and oh, Dolphin Dale, can't forget Dolphin Dale. Uh, I, um, I've been falling behind watching videos, I've been so busy doing stuff, uh, doing yard work, you know, we're summer, uh, doing renovations in my apartment I'm, I got, uh, I got down there and that kind of thing. So I've been I'm pretty busy doing some yard work and, and in the process of doing some, for example, I got my deck, it's like for sagging a bit from the, from the snowfall, I'm after jacking up, I'm after jacking up my deck and replacing a cracked board on the frame of my deck. I'm after doing, I'm trying to get in the process of doing all that too. So it's been quite busy. And uh, trimming some trees down from branches, uh, where the sap's been falling out, falling from the trees onto my deck and making a big mess from the maple trees. Uh, so yeah, I'm quite busy trying to get some uh, yard work done uh, this summer. Anyway, guys, all anyway, I'm not gonna ramble off anymore. Uh, all the best, guys. Oops. All the best, guys, and uh, y'all have a great, all the great, uh, great day or great evening or great whatever, whenever, whatever you're doing at that current time. 
Okay, all the best. Bye now.